So are you not exactly sure how a wet wash or deep frame sieve differs from a regular test sieve? Well, look no further. I'll tell you everything you need to know, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and particle analysis is a very important factor in almost every industry, from pharmaceuticals to agriculture to gas and oil and, and many more. And one of the most common tools used in particle analysis is the test sieve. But then there's wet wash, which are also called deep frame test sieves. So how exactly are they different from normal sieves? Well, here at WS Tyler, we have over 110 years of experience in particle analysis, and we're here to help you through all of your particle analysis needs. So in this video, we'll go over what a wet wash deep frame test sieve is, the types of test sieves, their components, their cost, the test sieve standards, and the test sieve certification. A wet wash test sieve is a screening medium with openings of uniform size and shape mounted on a rigid frame. Basically, it's a tool that uses metal cloth with holes in it to separate smaller particles from larger ones. The metal cloth that separates the particles comes in a round metal frame, which comes in many sizes and specs. But where standard test sieves have a frame height of 3 inch, a deep frame or wet wash sieve has a height of 4 inch or 8 inch. Also, you might have noticed that there's holes punched into the bottom of the skirt. The these are here to help uh, with the water flow. Wet wash test sieves are used when water needs to be added to the sample to get the particles to pass through the sieve. So, for example, wet wash sieving is used quite a bit in the aggregate industry. Clay and silt sticks to the outside of the rocks, which makes them unable to pass through the mesh. By adding water to the sieving process, the dirt and silt are cleaned off the outside of the rocks, allowing them to be measured properly. And I should also note that deep frame sieves actually aren't used with the wet test kit. Lab technicians typically hold them, put their sample material in it, and perform a hand sieve analysis to mimic the functions of the Rotap wet test sieve kit. The mesh is the most technical and important part of a deep frame test sieve. The most commonly used types of mesh is stainless steel or brass woven wire mesh. The opening size ranges from 4 inch down to 635 mesh, or rather 100 millimeter down to 20 micron. The frame is the round metal circle that holds the mesh in place. The standard frame size in the US are 3 inch, 8 inch, and 12 inch diameters. Internationally that's 100, 200, and 300 millimeters. And the sieve frames can also be made of stainless steel or brass. Honestly, it depends on the sieve. There are hundreds of different sieves you can buy with all kinds of combinations of alloys and mesh types. But to give you an example of the range of prices, let's say you want a 100 mesh with an 8x8 inch stainless steel frame and stainless steel mesh. That will cost you just about $236. But if you want a 100 mesh with an 8x8 inch brass frame and brass mesh, that will bring you to around $293. As a general rule, if the mesh count is higher, then the weaving process becomes a longer and more intense process, which affects the price. Let's say you want a stainless steel 635 sieve with an 8x8 inch frame, then the price will be $873. Test sieve standards relate to the construction of the sieve itself as well as the performance of the sieve. Every industry is different, which means there's many different sieve standards out there. Your industry standards will tell you your required mesh size, how many test sieves you need, how much sample to use, how long you need to run your sample for, and whether or not you need your sieve certified or calibrated. But there's two types of standards that are most commonly used, which is ISO 3310-1 and ASTM E11. Typically, ISO standards are international standards and ASTM are the North American standards. Sometimes your industry standards will require you to have your test sieves certified or calibrated. This means your industry requires you to have documented proof that your sieve meets your ISO or ASTM specifications. Basically, your test sieve is run through a machine that verifies the size of the openings. Your sieves are returned to you with a document that confirms your sieve is compliant to whatever the required specifications are. Certification can be done on a brand new test sieve before it's used. After your test sieves have been used for a while though, they can become stretched or damaged and need to be sent back to be recertified. This ensures that your test sieves are always performing at their best. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.